Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. I'm in one of my favourite pubs in Hammersmith again. I was here yesterday. Um, finished my last book yesterday, wrote the last poem, uh, uploaded to YouTube, and I'm about to upload my uh, latest poem, my first poem of my new book, which will be called, or may well be called, Words Calibrate the Mind, by Joey John McGuire. Uh, the new poem is called The Killing Zone. If only they had spared a moment for thought, but victory is a powerf very powerful aphrodisiac, a precious, tempting jewel that will entice a man's lust, so much so that caution is easily cast aside. So the outcome could have been predicted as they all rushed forward to claim their prize the valley. It was wooded, shaded, V-shaped and steep. The track, their route to victory straight, lit only by the sun's race, rays piercing the foliage. They should have known better. Had they stopped to think, wisdom would have prevailed, revealed the waiting trap, previously set with precision and beckoning safety catches off. To the right and up the steep hill a stream of semi-automatic fire. To the front a heavy machine gun screaming out no exit. Down the hill to the left and into the valley the hidden trips of grenades and claymores the instinctive exit away from the killing. The birds had fallen silent as time stopped and drew breath in anticipation just for a brief moment as they entered the killing zone with the trap door closed by the echoing thump of rapid fire. To the fore, to the right and to the rear their final thirty seconds played out in panicked slow motion. Victory had been so close, but in their rush fueled with their misguided valour, they had overlooked the basic wisdom in caution. The lust for glory had blinded them with mist. An ambush shows no mercy, a subtle trap, one silent, now alive, chilling testimony to the graveyard where they died, somewhere out there in the valley.